like any other election, lots at stake, both for individual careers as well as larger uh, careers or the uh, images of the political parties. In fact, uh, earlier in the day, there was a clash between BRS and Congress workers. Apparently, BRS worker, BRS MLA, Shakil's candidates and uh, party workers got into a clash with Congress candidates in Nizamabad district at Bongal, uh, which was creating the bus. But uh, far away from Nizamabad, in Hyderabad, the capital city and in the affluent Jubilee Hills area, it's former India captain Mohammad Azharuddin, who's the star candidate. Uh, and my colleague Uma Sudhir caught up with Azhar earlier in the day. All highs on the Jubilee Hills constituency here in Hyderabad because we have here star cricketer Mohammad Azharuddin, who is the candidate for the Congress there. How is the Jubilee Hills pitch looking now? No, pitch is very good. You know, I'm working very hard and inshallah, hopefully I will prevail. Okay. Um, lot of walking, lot of walking. I know yes. as a, a young uh, person, even before you came into national limelight, right. it was a lot of walking for you then. Yeah, I walk always. Uh, a lot of walking when I was playing also. You know, at that time, you know, no bicycle was there, nothing. You know, but sometimes the bus used, used to be very full, so I didn't like to, I mean, sit in a bus where it was full. So a lot of walking. I'm almost like walking 12 kilometers a day. So it's a good thing, you know. I'm inshallah, I will uh, reap the results also by the <laughs> grace of Almighty. Okay. In your constituency. Uh, uh, what is the profile looking like? Because, uh, you know, some people would say that, of course, you are loved in Hyderabad as the Hyderabad cricket boy from Hyderabad. Uh, but the uh, Muslim voters are considerable. And the MIM has put up a candidate against you, should I say? Yeah, that's right. They put up a candidate. But uh, I think when you are on the field, you know, you have to fight it out. So there is no, uh, I mean, uh, second thoughts on that. I'm here and uh, really, I mean, uh, looking forward to the election. I'm... Uh, I know that the people now realize that the MIM party is only there to split votes, you know, only to make the community people lose, you know, because this is what is that is what they have been doing for so many for a number of years, you know. Then even when they are going UP Bihar, they are doing doing the same thing. So they just want to split the vote, and then uh, they, actually they are doing a disservice to the community by doing all these things. What are the learnings that you are bringing from cricket to politics? Well, I think to stay patient and then. Uh, Work hard. Hard work is the key to success and patience. You have to wait for the results and you have to listen to people very patiently and to hear them out is the most important thing. You won in Moradabad 2009. Uh, from Uttar Pradesh to Telangana, what is the difference in the politics of there and here? Well, I think in Telangana, I mean, it's totally different. You know, people here, the elections are, I mean, uh, different. You know, in, in Moradabad, you know, the elections, you can, I mean, the election here is very expensive, to be very honest. And then, uh, I think the psyche and the of the people are different, you know, people think differently than in Moradabad. So I think in South, the, the, the totally two men like, there is no comparison, there is no contrast. There is a big contrast actually. Okay. Everywhere people recognize you by this also, isn't it? This style statement that you have of the callers up, that's not something that you're doing with your kurta. I see you in kurta campaigning everywhere. Well, I think you really can't do that much. Of, anyway, the collar is up in Kurta, so really I don't have to do that. Maybe sometime, uh, maybe in the next, I mean, next two or three days, I might uh, do that thing, but I'm not sure. So let us wait and see. Okay. You found politics quite difficult in the Hyderabad Cricket Association, isn't it? Yeah. Is HCA more difficult or this kind of Jubilee Hills uh, politics more difficult? No, HCA have already cleared a lot of things, you know, because I think the 57 uh, teams are out. But I thought that, you know, they, when they have that conflict of interest, you know, they should have been banned permanently, but I think they are only banned for three years. And again, they will come uh, next three, three, uh, again, after three years, they will do the same thing. So, I am not going to let that happen. In 2009, when you made your debut, uh, you learnt a lot of things, even through your uh, failure, is what you said, you know, then in next election. Yeah, you learn a lot, you know, when you fail, you know, you learn a lot, because, uh, I mean, I think I, I should have actually stuck to Moradabad, even uh, in, after the, I mean, in 2014. But I think, as, I mean, I learn from those things, you know, sometimes you think differently, you take a decision which uh, may, doesn't uh, go, I mean, in the right direction. But I think these are the things, you know, learn uh, from your, uh, I mean, experiences by playing and then in politics, you know, there's always a learning phase, you know, you have to keep learning all the time. I mean, in, 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 in life, you have to be a keen listener. If you are a keen listener, then you can succeed a lot. You very unfortunately lost your son in an accident, uh, in a bike accident, a motor car accident. Uh, when you see the youngsters here in your area, uh, do you remember that? I mean, and uh, that, you know, you were talking to me earlier about how uh, when you see there are so many other problems there that youngsters are facing. 
What are your thoughts there? I think the bike is the biggest problem. You know, I mean, if I see now also, I see so many uh, young boys, you know, they're riding the bikes very, very fast, you know, and then do, do those cuts and all those, you know. It's very dangerous because, you know, once you sleep, you know, it's very hard. I know when I mean, you're wearing helmet also and all those things, but I think you never know, you know, anything can happen. But I would advise them not to ride the bike fast, you know. The, I mean, when you have the vehicle, it's for your convenience to reach from one place to another place. If you, I mean, if you want to, I mean, like if you are late also, you know, you you'll start five minutes early so that you can reach on time. So because I always uh, felt that, you know, bike, uh, I mean, I never had the opportunity to ride the bike. You know, I always had a scooter, you know, it's only for a brief period of time. But I think I advise the kids, you know, to be very, very safe, you know, because at the end of the day, I mean, if you do those things, you know, the parents uh, has a lot to suffer in, uh, in, in, in their lives, you know. So it's not a very good thing, it's very unfortunate, but that is the will of the Almighty Allah. I mean, you have to resign to that fact that, you know, I mean, He gave my son for that period of time for me to enjoy his life, for me to be with him or whatever, whatever. But uh, I think beyond that, you know, you can only pray for his soul and uh, stay patient in life. The other bad patch, of course, was the ban that happened on you. Is that religion that helped you through that time as well? Because you are a spiritual person. Uh, you always speak about your grandfather. No, I think religion I think, is a rule of life. You know, because once you are, I mean, you have your belief in the in the Almighty Allah. I mean, a very strong belief. So you, you I mean, you don't go. I mean, uh, like you don't have a. You don't feel that you know you're scared or something or something like that because uh, you know that if anybody doesn't help him he's always there to listen because he's he's the all all merciful and all uh, i mean like beneficent and everything so if you have him on your side you know and you don't need to worry but uh, for that you have to work hard 